force kinds of forces and effects of forces look at this book it's just sitting there on the table it isn't moving at all what are the different ways we could move it from that position we could pick the book We could push the book or pull it a little. We could blow hard on the book and its pages may flutter a bit. We need to push or pull to make the objects move. Look at this cart. How can we make this cart move? We can pull it with our hands, then it will move. Look at the bicycle. What will make this bicycle move? Someone can push it or pull it or sit on it and pedal away. We have to push and pull at objects all the time. We pull when we pick up a shopping bag. We pull it towards us. We push when we open a door. We push it away. When we squeeze a sponge dry, we push at it. When we drag a toy cart, we are pulling it towards us. We push the striker to make the coins on the carom board move. When we wind up the spring of a toy, it is a twisting movement. When we sharpen a pencil, we use a twisting movement. A pinwheel can be moved by blowing at it. What are people doing when they do all these things? Do you think the objects they are handling would have moved if they had not done these actions? Could those objects have moved on their own? No. Well, what is needed to move those objects then? some force. No object moves on its own. Force is needed to make a stationary object move. A stationary object is an object that is not moving. Force is what makes an object move. What can we do to make an object stop moving? We need to apply force. Look at this ball that is rolling on the ground. How can we stop it? We need to apply a force like this so that the ball will stop rolling. How can you stop this toy car? Again, by applying some force, we can stop the car. What else can we do with force? Look at the shape of this mound of soil. What will happen if we use force to punch it? The shape of the mound changes. Look at this dough to make chapatis. We can use force to stretch it. Flatten it out or roll it into balls. When a blacksmith hammers a red hot piece of iron, its shape changes. Hence, we can use force to change the shape of an object. Look at this ball. 
let us set it in motion by pushing it in this direction. If we come from this side and kick it, what happens? It is still moving. But now it is moving in a different direction. When the baller bowls to the batsman in cricket, what does the batsman do? He applies a force to the ball with his bat so that the direction of the ball changes. Hence, force can change the direction of a moving object. Now, using force, let us set this car in motion. What will happen if we push it in the same direction? It will continue going in the same direction, but its speed will increase. When a moving tyre is pushed and set in motion, what will happen if you push it with a stick in the same direction? Again, the speed will increase but the direction of motion will remain the same. If the force is applied in the direction opposite to the direction of motion, then the speed will decrease. If the goalkeeper succeeds in stopping the ball, its speed decreases. So, by applying force, we can change the speed of the object. So, what is force needed for? Force is needed to set a stationary object in motion. It is also needed to make a moving object stop. Force can change the shape of an object. Force can even change the direction of a moving object. Force is needed to increase or decrease the speed of an object. Let's see what happens in this situation. Both people are pushing the box. Will it move? Ah, depends. Let's call the person on the left Amit and the person on the right Samir. Suppose Amit pushes harder, then the box will move to the right. If Samir pushes harder, the box will move to the left. What if both push with equal strength? The box will not move. What happens when both push with equal strength? The forces are balanced. That means the forces are equal and opposite. They cancel each other out. When two forces cancel each other out, we say the forces are balanced. When they don't, we say the forces are unbalanced. Balanced forces Keep things in equilibrium. When you keep a weight on a table, the weight exerts a force on the table. The table exerts a reaction force back on the weight. As long as these forces are balanced, all is well. If the weight is too much and the table is not strong enough to exert an equal reaction force, what happens? The table breaks. What did we just learn? No object moves on its own. Some force is needed to move an object. Force can also change the shape of an object. Force is also needed to change the direction or speed of a moving object. 